In this video, you will learn how you can create a bento grid in your website without any code. So bento grid has been a while for quite a while, but it has gained traction recently. I initially thought that this design was just a variation of the masonry grid, but apparently it wasn't. In fact, this design was inspired by the Japanese large book where each compartment is designed in a proportional and harmonious way, so they look organized and compact. So if you want to create this design in your website, let me show you how. Okay, now I'm in the WordPress Gutenberg editor. The first thing I'm going to do is to add a column block. Place the cursor here, type slash columns. And I'm going to choose 66 by 33. Okay, I'm going to add a copper block. And I'm going to pick a picture for this copper. Let's pick this one. And I can write, let's say, Vision Pro. And I will also move the content to the top left corner. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to change the opacity to 30%. And I'll also add some border radius to this image. Okay, so this is the first cover. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another cover to this side of the column. But I don't want to add manually, I just want to copy this cover that I have designed. So the next cover would be easy to make. Okay, click on the cover again, select this menu and select copy. After that, you can click on the next row and just press Ctrl V. So it will immediately paste the content that you have created before. Let's make it smaller. Let's say, okay, that's probably about right. And I'm going to change the text. Let's say apps. To change the image, just click on the cover and then click replace. And then you can open a media library and select another picture for this cover. I'm going to select this one. And as usual, I'm going to copy this part again. And I'm going to add another block after this section. Click Add After and press Ctrl V on your keyboard. Let's replace the image and select this picture. Okay, so basically it starts to resemble the classic bento grid. Another thing that I want to add is to make sure that this design remains consistent when viewed in a mobile device. To do that, go to Document Overview and then select this column. So it will basically select the entire column. And then I'm going to remove this feature. So basically this will retain the structure of the bento grid. But if you want to make it more responsive or stack, it's totally up to you. It is fine as well. Now I'm ready to make another row of this bento grid. I don't want to redo the design from the beginning, so I'm going to copy this column and make another one based on it. So go back to the document overview, click on this menu and click duplicate. So there is another grid and I'm going to make some adjustment to make it look more proportional. Let's start by changing the size of each column. I'm going to start with this one and it's going to be 40% and the other column is 60%. Okay. And I will also change the size of this column. And I'm going to remove this one. Okay. Change the text and change the image. And I will also continue with this one. I'm going to change the text to experience and I'm going to change the image with a video this time. So I have this video and there you go. The video will be automatically played. So sometimes the text will change its color based on the overall background. So I'm going to change the text to white again. All right, now the bento grid is here. So that's essentially how you can create a bento grid in your website without any code and without any plugin. 
There are a lot of customization available on this cover block. If you want to make your design much more interesting, then consider adding a parallax effect on this cover. So check out this video to learn more about how to create a parallax effect in your WordPress site without any plugin. And I'll see you on that video.